get the overlay off. Give you guys a view of uh, view of this. So let's uh, set this up, swap that round, and I think we should be good to go. So, King Sejong Station is our map, and um, it is one to Hydra. I remember there in my end. So in the upper left hand corner of the map, we have our blue Zerg player from Root Gaming, ladies and gentlemen. It's Hydra. In the lower right hand corner of the map, our Red Pros player, it's Myungsik from Prime. Alright, so let's see what's going to happen here. As we get into game number two. Chrono Boost in here on this Nexus. And how will Myungsek open? Again, he's um, gonna actually he's gonna open the gateway first. Down a map here because of that early pool in game number one. Which is definitely not the best way to go about things, but hey, shit happens. Let's see if you can pull this back. He did win on this map, King Sejong Station, when he played against Pet. Um, I'm trying to think what the other map was in this series when Hydra played Myungsek. Was it this map as well? I think it was this map, and it was a very close game. Um, Hydra with the kind of a big Roach attack initially, and then um, Roach Hydra Corruptor, and he just kind of stayed on that, got into some Vipers eventually, and just about won it out in the end. It's very close though. Um, it was very, very close indeed, so. Probe coming in here, and uh, will not decide to block the hatchery on the low ground. Probe coming in, and. Uh, We'll be able to mine on these minerals before moving away again. Pool is already on the way. Nexus just coming in. And uh, again, it's just a gate expand into that Nexus. Actually, I remember uh, earlier Young Sick on this map was opening with the Forge first, trying to go for Cannon Rush. Not going to try and do that again, realizing that Hydra's been playing fairly safe here in a couple of these games. So, um. So, yeah. Uh, drone. Moving back and forth. On this third base. Not really all too much to say about this one. Queen pops out, throws down the inject, and uh, third hatchery is already on the way for Hydra here. So it's open with a fast free hatchery. He's unsure what his opponent's doing just yet. He's seen the Nexus. In fact, nope, that's a complete lie. He's gone overload all the way in the main base, so he knows exactly what his opponent's doing. So I uh, opt in here just open with a free, gate, uh, free hatch gasless play see what he can do. So we're moving all the way through this main. And um, yeah. Probes on the way. Stalker being made as well. Chrono boosting this out. Warp gate is um, being made as well. There's a single zergling going to come up the right hand side of the map. Just scouting around here, so Hydra trying to see what's up, trying to see what's happening. As uh, Stalker and Zealot from Myungsik right now. Just sitting at the front, unsure as to what exactly they want to do. Mothership Core pops out as well, and they could move across the map with this. He could get a little bit aggressive. I mean, fast three hatches, no gas early on, so no speed. Um, he could definitely get a little bit aggressive against this, but what does he actually know about? If we check his vision, he doesn't really, he hasn't really seen too much, so he's a little bit unsure. Um, added on two extra gateways though, and uh, could add on one more as well if you would like. So, um, possibility here to be aggressive. He is going to find this probe with this Zergling. If he's paying attention to his minimap, but I don't think he is. Wow, he walks straight past that there. That's huge. That is really huge. Running straight past. And, um, well, four gateways coming in. It's going to be just one big gateway all in here. From our uh, Zerg player. From our Protoss player. Five gates to go all in with. One Zergling at the front, turned around. Well, I may have seen that gas though. That gas would be quite important. I think, I guess the Overlord sees the gas. 
Not seen that probe earlier. Will cost him as this probe will be able to move up this uh, side of the map unhindered now. Some stalkers already getting warped in. Oh, they sot boyed. Oh, they're just out of range of that watchtower. So, I mean, Hydra has absolutely no idea. He has absolutely no idea what's happening right now. And Myungstick is about to hit with an extremely powerful attack. And then something just got cancelled. I'm not sure what it was. It was an extractor. The spine core starts gathered on here, but that gets taken down very quickly. Queen's under fire from these stalkers and pushing forward here. Myungs are going to try and see what he can do. Link's coming forward here as well. A lot more stalkers already out though. And a time warp coming down. A couple stalkers getting stuck, but they will find their way out. And uh, out of that surround and that time warp allowing for a lot more zones to be picked off. And is there any way for Hydra to hold this off? He's trying to get a Hydra den. 22 more links being made as well. The spine crawl is going to go down also. Zealot's going to start leading the charge and tanking them, Zealot, uh, tanking the Zerglings in the front. There's a couple more Zergl uh, Zealots get warped in here. Hydro Den, if he can get the Hydro Den out, if he can get a few Hydro I don't even think it's going to matter though, because he's going to lose these overlords, he's going to get supply blocked. And um, even if he gets some Hydras out, there's nothing really to protect them. Uh, they're going to do it down. If he gets a few out, you know, it's just not really going to be the numbers he needs. And the spine crawler here, this third base is going to go down now. Drones being pulled. Never a good sign. All of that being said, the Zergans are going to come in and get us around here. Queens and drones getting us around and some Zealots over to the right, uh, over to the left side of this battle. As the Zealots are working away on this third hatchery, it looks as though there's just enough here from Young Sick, though, anyways. As now he's going to be able to move forward with the Zealots, with the Stalkers. He's going to be able to take down. Everything that's remaining, these uh, Zerglings going to try and run around and try and get the probe. And, I mean, you can get the probe all you like. You can get that pylon. I don't think Myungsa cares about that pylon. Because he's got another one. He's going to leave a few Zerglings behind to defend it as he comes up into the natural here. And he's just going to try and do whatever he wants. And, uh, you know, these few Hydras are out and they will help. But is it enough? Only four of them right now. And, uh... Well, these uh, Hydras are going to try their best. And they are starting to turn this around a little bit. There's still a lot out, though, for Myungsa. And uh, a few more Stalkers coming in. These extra Stalkers could definitely make the difference because he just needs something which can close the gap on the Hydras. Once he starts connecting with the Hydras, they go down so quickly. As you can see right now, one Hydra down, two Hydras down. Hydra's just going to type GG. And that was